So, when you have severe chest pain, fever, cough, and breathlessness, that could be acute chest syndrome. So today we're talking about acute chest syndrome, the symptoms, the treatment, and the prevention. So watch the video to find out. Welcome to Warriors Inspiration, the number one channel for sickle cell motivation. Okay, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Hayford Omojirike. I'm a warrior and a medical student. So today we're talking about acute chest syndrome. Feel free to like the video, subscribe, and comment after you finish watching the video. Thank you. Acute chest syndrome is a complication of sickle cell disease. Yes. And the symptoms the patient presents with is usually cough, chest pain, breathlessness, hypoxia, which is known as low oxygen level. And this syndrome, Hagujia syndrome, is usually due to a lung infection or even asthma. Yes. So people that have asthma, that have sickle cell, or people that have a lung infection can have Hagujia syndrome. Sometimes it could just be a crisis that triggers it. So what the number one way to, to diagnose it is to do an x-ray. Yes. And in the x-ray they will find that the airways are either narrowed or blocked. So acute syndrome can be treated by giving oxygen because the person may have low oxygen level, giving oxygen, um, managing the pain, giving pain for pain treatment, and then giving even blood transfusion. Yes, that could be um, the management for acute syndrome. And then for prevention for children, there's something called an incentive spirometry. So an incentive by spirometer is a medical device that is used to measure the volume of breath that you take. So it helps you to breathe more and then, you know, helps with the acute syndrome. Because one other preventive measure for acute syndrome is exercise, mild exercise. It could be just walking down um, to and fro. Um, because most people that are inactive, just lie down on the bed or um, idle, most times they get acute syndrome more often. But if you're active, probably walking, yeah, taking a stroll can help prevent it, as well as using incentive spirometry. Acute syndrome is actually life-threatening. When you see that, you notice that you're breathless, you have a fever, there's cough. Please go to the hospital and tell the people in the emergency unit that you are a sickle cell patient so they would address the issue in time. Um, another treatment plan could be use of hydroxyurea, but that is not suitable for everybody. So the doctor would check your blood constantly, your blood constantly, yes. To, to, to ensure that you're not um, having a side effect from taking hydroxyurea. So that will be all for today. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video. Thank you.